like that. Can you feel this? Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Real. As usual, I'm your host and my name is Linda. Today, I'll be talking about a very talked after movie called Lion Heart. And I'm kind of confused where I stand with Lionheart because my expectations were really very high. The problem is, I don't think most of our expectations were met. The biggest legacy I will leave for posterity is you, my daughter. Why I am wondering where I should stand or not. Of course, we know Genevieve, who is a popular, well-known actress, well-known in the industry. She's done well for herself. I think I love the movie called A Road to Yesterday, which was fantastic. And I had so much expectations after seeing the movie called King of the Boys, and I was expecting that, oh, Genevieve was going to kill it. Good for you. Of course, I'm not trying to be biased about the movie. I'll tell you a bit about it and what went wrong. The movie was about two hours long. Simple storyline, kind of easy. For me, I think the actors killed it. So let's not just talk about the bad side of the movie. I really also like to talk about the good side of the movie. So you had great actors like Peter Dottie, you had Kanayo Kanayo, you had Kim Kalu, you had Onye Kawinu, of course. Genevieve also featured as one of the main actresses, and I was wondering what did Peter and Fino do in the movie? Yeah, so you had Peter from Peace Square, he was also in the movie. He featured just a very small scene, I'm wondering, that wasn't really necessary, but it was okay. Very good MD Ma. My father is still very much alive on you. You must be a proud father. Of course, I'm immensely proud of my daughter. She's uh, her father's daughter. Hi. Chief. Chief. Full storyline, I'll tell you how it happened. So you had. Genevieve was the daughter of Peter Joseph, very rich, her name was Adese, and she probably stayed abroad for a while, came back to Nigeria, managed the business, and then the business started having issues, and I'm wondering, how could your dad be owing about 950 million naira and you were not aware? How? How did that happen? But that was part of the story. You know, some perks about the movie people didn't really understand or watch were wearing the kind of same dress for five, six times, both different colors, but people didn't really get why that kind of particular because Of course, I know she kind of liked the style, but how do you explain that to people? A lion heart will have to soldier on until I get back on my feet. I now name my replacement Chief God's Wheel. The bottom one. Well. His reasons have nothing to do with you being a woman. Your uncle is just here to supervise. Now, the storyline was simple, you know, tried to save the business, and then, you know, they saved the business, met with another guy from the north. We don't know if she married him or not, but we saw that at the end. And then you had Fino Singh. I'm going to change a lot of things in this establishment. So, given our current situation, can you tell us how bad the numbers are? Bad. Lionheart is in severe debt. 950 million naira. What? And now it's time to pay up. In 30 days. Or risk losing everything. If we have to fight this war, we have to fight it together, unless we want to lose. Congratulations to her, not to forget. She actually got over $3 million from Netflix, which makes it one of the first Nigerian, if not African movie, to make it to Netflix. Bravo, really good. But speaking with so many people over the past few weeks, we had mixed feelings about what they expected from Genevieve. Although some people feel biased about the movie having to have cultural kind of differences, showing people from different cultures and exposing our Nigerian heritage with Enugu, which was good. It is no more a secret that I have an interest in Lionheart. And if this Igwe Pascal of a man gets a hold of our company, everyone will lose their jobs. And they're all depending on me, and I feel like I'm failing. No, no, no. For me, one key thing about having a Nigerian movie is having to have a perfect storyline. What was the storyline? Was it catchy? Was it in interesting? Did I learn something from it? Was it intriguing? I think it was too bland. So for Genevieve, I think she should come up with something really exciting and exceptional that when we finish, we get shocked and we're wondering, oh my God, this was the movie. That's just my verdict. You're a businesswoman. You've always been able to do anything you put your mind to. But not everyone really liked it. As usual, always, if you do want to subscribe, make sure you do subscribe to our channel, which is at Business Day on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As always, make sure you stay tuned to The Real, and let's tell you about the latest movies, when and how. <laughs>